Uh, hey friends. Well, there are new costumes in the Dune Summon. So let's take a quick look. Head Affairs gets a costume with loads of stuff on the left side. I think next year, no, not next year, in the next couple of months, they'll start on the right side, <clears throat> filling all that up. So, Cleric becomes Monk, okay. Costume bonus is quite sizable. And uh, special bewildering riddle becomes relaxing riddle at average speed. 50% health for all allies becomes 54% health and all allies get plus 84% defense against nature. It gets reduced to plus 64% and a further 3% increase from the previous further 2% every time they are hit during four turns. All enemies get minus 40, becomes minus 45% accuracy. So accuracy is going to be more effective in the costume. So there you go. Obviously, uh, the cool part is 60% chance to perform blah. That is 10% boosted health and cleanses the latest cleansable stairs ailment from all allies. Passive from 60% becomes for the costume. And I think also for this, it would be it becomes 100%. And there is an additional one. Character recovers 5% health when they receive a buff or a positive stack. So as a combo, this adds. So there is a very high, I would say, um, yeah, the costume is absolutely insane. Um, very high health healing. Then uh, you will take nature and I my main attack team is a nature team so but stealing that buff defense buff really helps knock these guys off and that's where this guy comes in handy um, the harrer but that irritating accuracy takes me off <laughs> when I'm facing her so yeah Good costume, I'll say that. Let's go out, come back in, and check this guy who's been there, but I haven't leveled him up. Well, I don't know what he's turned vegan from the earlier <laughs> crazy. Okay, now uh, so Amo's costume from Wizard becomes. Druid, which is actually a drop down because that wizard hammer is really badass. This we know. Costume bonus is sizable. 70% chance because he's slow speed. So 70% chance to perform this. Deal 70 whack to all enemies and all enemies get minus 24% mana gen for three turns. That thankfully has not been made into 100 but when this character casts their special skills, any of their passive skill that grant extra effect on the cast have three chances to activate. Okay, and uh, obviously this has been added. This character has innate resistance against sand damage, as if anybody cares. But yes, there are a few sand damagers. So, yeah, deals for... It was 400, so it becomes 410. All allies reflect status effects. That's 160. It was 150. And block from, obviously, reds and cannot be dispelled. It could not be dispelled earlier also. Status effects cast by characters, minions, and fiends on the same side cannot be reflected. Okay, fair enough. So stats obviously gets a massive boost because of this. This adds and this adds, but this is a downgrade because when the, this talent would activate, it would be a big hammer. Uh, well, nothing much has changed except little additional 10, 10%. But uh, the reflect is conditional. If, there are, if I don't take reds, I really don't care. So... He is basically a slow speed hit all hard fellow. 
so that's it so again he wasn't a game changing hero except in rush where obviously for obvious reasons he puts a very tough hammer but that's it so two heroes let's go back in costume makes her even more powerful because of the heal and the ailment of accuracy and uh, costume basically adds on to the original but nothing significant in terms of change or enhancement is still a slow speed hard hammer yeah so that's a quick uh, view already spoken there's nobody else that is new so these two newbies cheers